Hi, my name is uh, Jonathan Davis. I'm here as part of the WRU Fan Cam package today to give you a bit of an insight into the behind the scenes of uh, the Welsh Training Camp. We are at the Vale of Glamorgan Hotel, where the team lives before the game in the week to build up. And there's a bit of a the press conference for the England Wales game and team announcement today. You can see BBC Scrum 5, a gesture alongside a number of different broadcasters and journalists for the announcement. Here comes the, the team bus now down from the training session. Very Ian Evans new charters, the Goliath himself coming down. That's probably was a nice morning uh, session for the team selected. Good variety of trainers going on as well, some nice colourful things. Sam's got a particularly nice pair of blue ones on there. Snazzy, to say the least. Right, I'll just take you upstairs now to see where the press conference will be, where Sam and Warren will be speaking to the world's media. There's a lot of stairs in this place if you come in from the uh, the bath cave where all the players chill out downstairs. Just in here now. So, this is where the World's Press will be later for the uh, the after announcement of the squad. We'll have Warren. Warren and Sam will be sitting just to the front up here. And all the press will be around here. You can see a couple of guys setting up in preparation. Right, this is where uh, Mr Gatland and Sam Orbedon will be sitting to talk to the national press and media after the announcement of the the, uh, in, the squad to take on England on Sunday. Should be quite interesting, a couple of changes, so I'm sure there'll be some uh, good questions thrown at them. Luke Charter's just coming in now, and he is massive. I'm not going to do that guy is huge. Right, we're just on the uh, balcony behind where the press conference was because we thought I'd come out and show you some of the uh, facilities that the Vale offer the Welsh team. As you can see, we've got a couple of pictures out here with the training facilities where the, uh, the squad will come out and train in the prep before the game. Some nice views as well, nice lake in the background there. I'm sure they uh, you know, occasionally come out for a couple of rounds of golf. I know there's some keen golfers in the team, so set the nice golf set up here at the Vale for them to chill out as well. Right, we've got uh, Alec and Jamie here, just going to ask them a couple of questions. Uh, first off, I think what every fan wants to know is, what do you get to do in your downtime? What, how do you like to chill out you know, after, after training, when the end of the day comes? Uh, well, we have one day off in the week. Which yeah. is usually a Wednesday if if we're playing on a Saturday and uh, you know our evenings are spent for me really uh, just catching up with mates, catching up with family, relaxing, stroll around town. I like eating out, so usually have breakfast, lunch, dinner out of the house <laughs> and uh, just catching up with mates really. Yeah, pretty much the same. Just getting out of the house, just chilling, not not on your feet uh, too much really, and um, just like, like Jamie said, catching up with the boys that you don't see because they're training hard all week and uh, just catching up with them. Sometimes a bit of golf. We need a buggy. Buggy's important. Yeah, it depends what sort of game. You play a bit of golf, don't you, in your uh, off time? Yeah, sometimes. Try to do a bit of sky a bit from training at all to get any. Uh, sky? Jesus, no, we're not allowed to sky. No, mate. Not just, uh, no just, on the day, <laughs> just on the day off, mate. Cheeky nine holes, happy days. Yeah. You said you like to eat out. Where'd you, uh, off, where'd you go? Where'd you frequent? Well, Bravo for you, isn't it? Cafe Bravo, breakfast, and put can on and uh, take your pick of Wagamama's Nando's. Custom House yeah. <laughs> is uh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah everywhere. There's no space in Cardiff. Right? It's quite, uh, Are you um, one of these guys who's got the Nando's black card? No, or? no, only no. George has got one of them. And Lee, yeah, George and Lee George have got Lee, one. Yeah, so usually time, if they're, they're around in Cardiff, we can ring and uh, much just sort of jump in with them it? sometimes, yeah. yeah. I don't mind paying. <laughs> <laughs> 50 percent off anything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Off's not bad, really, is it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that. Uh, in the squad, you know, every player's got some silly habits and stuff. Who's got the most ridiculous, pretty much, kind of superstition or habit before the game? I don't clean my boots. I don't know if that's superstition or laziness. <laughs> Uh, you don't even take them into the showers after the game? Nah, you nothing, know, nothing, rinse. nothing. They stay from, they go from pitch to pitch. Uh, Was well, so it because they're the horrible colour? Yeah, yeah, I let the meds gather on them because they're bright yellow at the moment. So. <laughs> Kind of null, nullifies a bright yellow. Um, superstitions, nothing really. Everyone's pretty chilled. I think before the game, you know, we kind of ramp it up in the hour leading up yeah. to kick off. But 
I always have to sit on the right side of the bus. Yeah, I'm left. Game. I'm left. Uh, yeah. I always have to sit on the right side. I don't know why. Just there's no reason behind there. No, I just I think more girls go on the right on side. On the right hand side. Street, yeah. Yeah. More things to look at. Right to look at. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Down Westgate Street. There's Plus so that Irish bar outside the Anne's Park, usually full of women. So yeah, Alex gets a wave at his <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sort of so it's always going to be a window seat then, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. Aisle, no, not window. interested in that. No, Nothing window. worse when you come onto the bus and all the window seats are taken. <laughs> Man down, like. Just finished the press conference, now inside. It looking like it's going to be a bit of an epic on Sunday. Gatlin and Sam and some are brilliant dancers. Just going to head up to the Centre of Excellence now to have a look where the guys train. Right, here we are where the magic happens. Let's go in and have a look. The facilities are just superb. So much better than what I'm used to back in uh, my stig. We've got all sorts of various equipment up here. We've got the bikes behind me here. We've got various weights. The gymnasium is just at the back. Changing room is just behind us. And I just wish I could train in a facility like this. We're just down on the castle pitch now. This is where the coaching staff and the players come down sometimes to get away from some of the media, so away from the top pitches. And they'll be heading down now in just a few minutes to have a 10 minute open session with the media so we'll be able to see some of the things they've got up to this week. You can see the captain Sam, Lydia, James King, they're all coming down now. You can see Jake Ball's beard from a distance, particular favourite of mine. <laughs> I want to know what he actually looks like behind that. Some of the under 20s also here as well in the uh, regional players. I won't say cannon fodder but you know.